what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i unfortunately have some bad news for us here today um halloween kills has officially been delayed to october of 2021 which is then pushing halloween ends to october of 2022 now this came out to us officially today from jason blum david gordon green john carpenter everyone involved who was in the higher ups in regards to the filmmaking of these brand new halloween movies that we all know we've been getting been excited to been looking forward to since the release of the 2018 movie that they did so brilliantly uh it's unfortunate that this movie of has been delayed jason blum sent out a tweet saying this wasn't an easy decision but of course they want to make sure we get the most we get the best experience from this movie when it does in fact come out uh, so in this letter from david gordon green apparently and john carpenter it reads we write this to you heartbroken over the fact that the delay of our film is even a discussion but if there's one thing a career in the filmmaking industry has prepared us for is the unexpected over the past few weeks, our film family has looked at the forecast of theatrical exhibition with obvious concern. We have discussed and struggled with how best to present Halloween Kills to loyal fans around the world, as well as the new audience we hope to invite to this experience. It was a wild and vibrant production. We lined up a cast of legacy characters like Lori and Tommy, Lindsay, Lonnie, Marion, Brackett, and The Shape. Then alongside some new faces, we aggressively made the second chapter of our Halloween trilogy. It unfolded into an experience that was a creative playground and we feel confident that our misfit misfit pleasures will be seen as an unexpected entry into this franchise it will if we release it in october of this year as planned we have to face the reality that the film would be consumed in a compromised theatrical experience after weighing our options we have chosen to push the film's theatrical release by one year on top of a traditional release, Universal has agreed to an IMAX presentation of the film in October of 2021. We are sound mixing with one of the greatest design teams that can slash, scream, and creep their way under your skin. We're going to have time to complete the film with the quality the fans deserve. And preparation on Halloween Ends has begun as well. It is an honor to be working with these characters and spending time in Haddonfield. We look forward to sharing our next chapters with you, David Gordon Green and John Carpenter. Now, that letter was very uh, well written, something to also let fans know that they are really sorry they had to do this. And it's not an easy decision they all had to make and agree upon. But of course, for the benefit of the franchise and the benefit of them as a business still wanting to make, make the most money they can from these movies that they've put time and effort into and all the stuff they've done these past couple of months to work on this project and make sure that it stays on track for this release they want to make sure that when it does come out all their hard work isn't just wasted or goes to the wayside with a poor theatrical release a poor box office reception etc so another thing they did release here today is a teaser trailer for halloween kills now it's just 30 seconds it's not necessarily really even a teaser trailer it's really just a small 30 minute 30 second clip similar to that announcement trailer we got when halloween kills and halloween ends got announced uh earlier last year from Blumhouse so in the teaser it starts off with the pumpkin similar to how Halloween 2018 opens up with the pumpkin growing from the bottom or, or ri basically rising from the ashes in a way and then we jump to the back of that truck where we have our strolled women we have Lori in the middle we have Karen on her um, on her right we have Allison on her left uh, her left not our left Allison's actually on your right and Karen's on her on your left <laughs> but I'm speaking in terms of where, where Lori's sitting and then while they're riding in the back of that truck um, paramedics firefighters it looks like all of the EM, all first responders are on their way to a nearby fire because the first another shot we see first when this trailer appears or this teaser comes on is a shot of the house or Lori's house on fire still where we know she left Michael Myers to hopefully burn to death and then as the EMTs and the paramedics look like they're rushing to get to that fire to put it out she's screaming in the back of the truck let it let him burn let him burn let him burn she's very emotional with it she's this is like some of Jamie Lee Curtis's from that from that single moment, that's one of the most emotional performances I've seen from Jamie Lee Curtis. And I've seen several Jamie Lee Curtis movies. And I honestly think that that's one of the most emotional uh, lines of dialogue I've heard her bellow out or recite. She seems very much in the role. She seems like she is 
almost as if she means what she's saying as if it's not even her in character she's actually this is actually her um i know she's just playing laurie strobe but I, again just those this 30 second clip of what we saw um of this performance from her i feel like jamie lee curtis i don't think she's gonna have that much screen time in a sense that i don't think she's gonna be a huge factor in a lot of the action that goes on but we might see one of her better performances out of the franchise in halloween kills and i'm looking forward to that just based off of the way she's screaming let him burn in the back of the truck because she doesn't want these emts to get to her house to put the fire out now what i think this is going to lead to i think this will lead to the emts being told by uh or not the EMTs, but the man in the truck or whoever's driving this truck, the strolls will start tapping on the back of the window, the truck driver or whoever's driving this car that they're in the back of. They're going to be told to turn around. They'll turn around and take Lori and, and her uh, granddaughter and her daughter back to the house. They're going to start pleading with them to get to that house so they can tell them not to put the fire out or not to let him out, let him out, let him out. The person who's driving probably be talking about who are you talking about? Let who out? Let who out? And then all the while they're arguing about that and while they're driving, as I made mention of, I did make a video talking about how I believe Michael Myers would escape. And I believe anyone would have guessed this. It's pretty obvious now how he's going to escape. The The teaser does nothing more than just enforce my uh, my opinion on how he's going to get out. The paramedics and EMTs are going to have something to do with this. Somebody's going to go into that house to try to put out the source of the fire. Or maybe they just stumble for whatever reason or another. They go down to where Michael Myers is. Michael Myers will emerge somehow from some place he's hiding at in the fire where he's staying safe so he doesn't get burned and then he is going to kill that person or whoever else is down there with this individual and then he will just go about his business and that's when we get that shot of him standing outside of the house uh, while it's still burning in the background um, with him it looks like he's holding a pipe of some sort too from what I recall seeing in the announcement trailer for Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends but I'm pretty sure now seeing this 30 second mini trailer mini teaser rather that's how he's going to get out that's not this did nothing but enforce my opinion on that and it's pretty obvious that's what many people have already talked about and speculated that's how he will get out some emt some type of first responder they'll be the ones responsible unintentionally for letting this mass murderer out once again to continue doing what he was doing now again as i mentioned halloween kills sadly is not coming out till next october but the one thing i want everyone to remain positive about here is that at least we know that this gives them enough time to make sure that this movie is absolutely the best that it can be if they're if they need to do reshoots they'll do reshoots i don't think they're going to do reshoots um maybe they already have them if i'm not mistaken i don't think i don't think they've done any reshoots for this particular movie i might be mistaken i don't know if they did reshoots after the test screen or anything like that I think the feedback was just so positive that they just stuck with the final product. Not how they did with the 2018 movie where they went back and they reshot the ending and everything and a few other scenes. But they have plenty of time to make sure that Halloween Kills is up to par. It's something that the fans and people of the fan base will love and appreciate and just something else that we can have to look forward to. Because if they do actually get to shoot Halloween Ends, not only that, you now have ample opportunity and enough time to finalize and make sure that not only is halloween kills up to par and it gets a successful release and it's a movie that audiences and fans alike of this franchise can be proud of you now have an opportunity to make sure that the final chapter that david gordon green and danny mcbride envision is up to par as well if they if and when because they already did say that they're in the early stages of working on halloween ends as well if and when that movie starts production and if it wraps that movie's not coming out till 2022 so you have ample time to make sure that movie's up to par now as well plenty of time if not halloween kills halloween ends definitely better be the best halloween movie i've ever seen in my life um, and I don't mean that literally, but it should just be one of the better entries in this franchise that we've gotten. This and Halloween Kills, in my honest opinion, you now have no no excuses when you have all this time. And of course, bearing nothing happens to the people involved with the filmmaking. They have no excuses now but to put on some of the best entries in this franchise. They have so much time on their hands now to make sure everything's up to par. And I can't wait for these movies to come out. I'm really disappointed that Halloween Kills is not coming out this year. But of course, we all know why it's not coming out. But that doesn't make it any more heartbreaking for a lot of us. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.